So another look into the Raising Hell DLC was released, and that is what we're checking out today. All right, let's see. Breaking Fednet news, live from Gehenna. We now join our troopers live from the surface of what our brave colonists call Gehenna. It is here on this unforgiving hellscape of molten lava and volcanic activity that the brave men and women of the mobile infantry beat back the arachnid threat. But why fight for this uninhabitable rock? Orbiting above lies the critically vital Vylon Station. A true feat of human ingenuity, the station provides the Federation with access to the vast fuel extraction and refining industry on the planet's surface. Thus, the station is a nexus of trade between Qualasha and other Federation colonies and Earth. Breaking news! The Battle Force surface is heating up, but worry not, as our reporter is embedded with the new and formidable engineering biped. As you can see, this machine was originally designed for heavy industrial labor, welding, drilling, and the like. However, a combat redesign by security forces have turned this machine into an effective defense against the arachnid aggressor. It's not just close quarters combat which is the biped's forte, as it possesses the elite ability to drop a trail of fire. Activating this ability gives the bipedal vehicle a speed boost, allowing it to quickly lay down a barrier of flames that can stop a bug attack from reaching vulnerable positions. So this is the first new clip that we've got. It looks like it's going to be another demonstration of the fire trail. So, all right, let's see what it looks like. Gears and drills, oiled up and good to go. Sir. Yes, sir. Engineers. Come on, yes, people. Sir. Affirmative. Sir, affirmative. Move back. What do you need? Let's get this thing moving. Oiled up and good to go. Firing up the engine. Sir. Come on, people. Brace for impact. One thing to note from this is that it does seem to have quite a lot of health, which for a mech you would expect so. It got chomped by tigers quite a bit there. Also, let's watch them torch their own engineers again. <laughs> Runs right into them. But yeah, right here... A good amount. More than five. More than five chomps on him. I'm not sure if the other tiger was contributing as well. It might have been. But yeah, and this is only one of its abilities. We have not seen what the other elite ability the engineering biped has. It is interesting, though, that they use the example of a reporter being in one of these. That does make me wonder if there's going to be a mission that centers around that idea having to escort a reporter that happens to be in one of these. It's possible. All right, let's see. What is that? It appears to be one of the recently discovered immolator bugs. Scientists have yet to understand this endemic to Gehenna arachnid, but comprehension of the enemy is not a requirement for its destruction. The heavy armor of the engineering biped is more than a match for this flame-spewing monster. But be careful, troopers. This bug has been known to make suicidal charges in its last desperate moments. Scientists recommend that you keep your distance. So before we even start this video, two biped versus sparkers is what this is named. So is that what this unit is called? Because in the initial description of the DLC, there was nothing named sparkers. Sir. Speak up. Let's this get this thing, thing moving. Look alive, right trooper. Standing by. Affirmative. Trooper standing by. Ah! Fire it well. Market for thunder. I think that's the most damage we've seen the immolators do to a single squad. It almost wiped it out completely. Let's watch it again, though, and. Uh, Keep an eye on these units. What they are doing here looks a lot 
It looks very similar to what the units were doing in the other footage that we saw from the first clips that were released. The projectile looks the same. The explosion looks the same. They're not quite firing as rapidly as they were, though. Maybe that means that these are the real frag mercs. The name Sparkers might have nothing to do with this. That might just be an internal name for these bugs, the emulators. Federal engineering is truly something to behold. But don't get complacent, troopers. Disturbing reports of a new kind of flying bug have just recently arrived, and it's a dangerous one. Nicknamed the Bomber Bee, this ugly abomination carries a payload of deadly acid, released when it suicide bombs its victims. Our mechanized units are particularly vulnerable, so be sure to shoot down these threats quickly, troopers. <laughs> I know that you speak up. Oiled up and got a job contract accepted. Oh, what do you have for us? Let's click. Okay, before we let the video continue, those are the bomber bees. These are the the mercenaries. We have not seen a detailed video like this of how they perform yet, so that is also something curious about this one. Yeah, that's really bad how fast they took that thing out. When we watched the other video, in the initial details about this DLC, when they would attack like a group of soldiers like this, it seemed like they would almost only take out one soldier at a time and have to make a second pass. Maybe that'll turn out not to be true, but that's what it looked like from the footage we saw. But here, it looks like if it's a single big target, that rule does not apply. <laughs> I know that you speak up. Oiled up. You got a job contract? Oh, Except get me back what do you have for us? Let's close our belt. Job for us? Yeah, see how as soon as it was destroyed, the last bug went back into ascending into the air? When we watched the other footage, that's what it looked like they would do as soon as they would take out one of the group. They would fly in, take out one of the members of a squad, and then disengage and fly up. Let's drills. get this thing moving. I know this. Oiled up. Let's get this thing moving. Anything for the Firing right up price. the engine. I can definitely see that being a big problem. We're going to have to be very careful with these units. If they can go down that fast, what they were doing, baiting the bugs forward and running away with the mech, that's going to be extremely necessary. Okay, and the last thing it says is... That's all from our live reporting for now, but if you would like to know more, why not volunteer to serve in the mobile infantry? Nobody knows when the next wave will be drafted, but some say it will most likely be in the fall. You'll have your chance to experience this action and excitement for yourself. Keep an eye out, and you too could be a citizen. Now, what that is referring to, I presume, is the beta, which, if you sign up for, I believe it lets you play the first couple levels of this, but there is NDA agreements that go along with it. That's the reason I did not sign up for it. I would rather wait for a time when I can cover it properly. They also released this new screenshot. Here we get to see that there is indeed three new types of units, even though the DLC description only talks about two of them. These are the ones that seemed like they were firing the same projectiles that these were until they got to close range. Then they would take a knee and start firing something similar to a shotgun. And this, of course, is the Gatling Gun guy that can convert his weapon into a turret. But alright, that's the entirety of the update. It looks interesting. I will continue to cover these as they drop, so... That being said, thanks for watching. Goodbye.